Hello everybody, Chase here. So I love all of the responses I was getting for the video. Had, you know, a couple of views. Uh, mostly, you know, my friends and my family, my adoring mother, God bless her. Uh, and so I thought that because of that, I would go ahead and follow through on the fact that I said I was going to start doing maybe some gear reviews, some stuff like that. So what I've decided to do since I just got home, uh, as you can tell, because I'm covered in sweat and I had to walk up five flights of stairs as I do live on the top floor of a fifth floor walk up. Uh, I thought that I am already in gear. I'm already in what I ride in pretty much every day. So I would go ahead and just kind of showcase that. It's nothing really special or important or anything like that, but it's, you know, what I have over my almost two decades of motorcycle riding have decided that um, I like to ride in and I want to ride in what makes me most, most comfortable. Um, just kind of, you know, everything. And I do have some other stuff beyond this everyday sort of setup that I have that I can go over later. Uh, I can just kind of showcase that kind of stuff, which is great gear. It's awesome. I just don't need or want to wear it every single day. Uh, so with no further ado, we'll go ahead and cut to that. All right, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was actually this watch that I have, which is this Swiss Pressamax watch. Really cool Swiss movement. It's not automatic, it's got a battery, but it's still, it's really cool. You can see that that tiny dial there is the second hand, and this big one is actually a stopwatch. It is meant for racing or anything kind of like that. And I freaking love this watch. It's great, it tells great time. Speaking of, I have, bunch of watches over here that I've gotten from it's called the subscription service called watch gang and if you never heard of it it's a subscription service they send you a watch either once a month or once every three months which is great lots of really cool designs I really like this croton here this heritor was my very first automatic watch these things are amazing this is another automatic I have it's a spinnaker this one tells world time it's got a bunch of different dials and like bezel you can see you can change it to New York or Rio, Paris, anything like that, which is really cool. You know, not to say that I'm trying to get a thing from Watch Gang or anything like that, but I really like good watches because good watches tell good time. Always important to know time or anything like that on your motorcycle. Have something that's easy to look at, bold, something like this so that you can just quickly tell what time it is, anything like that. I am consistently checking my watch for a time. Here in the city, it's really hard to get around a lot. It's just always good to know what time it is. So while we're at it, I'll go ahead and talk about some of the headwear that I use. So I have these yellow tinted glasses. They are off Amazon. They're very cheap, but they are polycarbonate. They work really great. They're ANSI certified. They have the foam on the inside. I have these yellow. I have them in black that I wear during the daytime. Who wants to wear yellow glasses during the daytime? Always keep one pair of each of them in my saddlebags. They come in like a three pack for like 10 bucks. So I have a couple of three packs just kind of tucked away for when these ones get a little bit too scratched. I don't like spending a lot of money on stuff like this. This is easy to lose. They can, you know, the lenses can fall out. I worked for Oakley for a really long time. So I understand the importance of good sunglasses. I have a lot of really good sunglasses, especially Oakley glasses which are also ANSI certified, but for riding, I just feel like these ones work a little bit better. They keep the wind out of your eyes. I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff as much, and anything less than what I have to worry about on the road is better, obviously, so that's just kind of what I like to do. Uh, on the other hand, this right here is one of my helmets. Remember I was talking about in the video, the smaller helmet that I have that I freaking love. So this thing right here it is the, just the tiny little, um, you know, moto beanie. It was $99 off bikerhelmets.com. It is awesome. It's very lightweight. You can barely even feel this thing. It fits great really, really well. There's no like mushrooming or anything like that, which is kind of one of their big sells. But one of the things I really don't like about this is you can tell but this thing is scratched up it just gets scratched so easily the fingerprint smudges are crazy hard on this thing uh you can't get those things off but other than that great helmet dot approved smallest dot helmet on the market i think like i said i love this thing if i'm just riding around town and i don't have to worry about like anything this is usually my go-to helmet the only big problem is there's really no way to put headphones on it or anything like that there is like a one cena half 
helmet Bluetooth setup that I've seen, but I don't have any idea how well it would work on this or if it would make it kind of like any bigger or you know anything like that, which I don't really like. I like the fact that it's just a low profile, easy riding helmet. It's just, it's great. I would absolutely recommend, would buy this again, 100%, probably will buy another one in like maybe another year or two. I think I've had this one for about two years. You're supposed to replace your helmet every three or four years or something like that, I'm not sure, but I love this helmet. So speaking of helmets, these are the other two helmets that I own. This is an LS2. It is a three quarter bomber style helmet. This is a Shark Evo 3, I think. Think. Yeah, Evil Line Series 3, which both these helmets are good and bad in their own regard. This one fits kind of weird. It's not super great. This one is, it's a medium and it is still kind of small for me, which normally a medium would fit me just fine. It's a modular, but it's um, kind of a weird modular system. Like this has been kind of new over the past couple years, I think. Modular system that folds all the way back so that it can be used as a three quarter or as a full face. I just use this as a full face as you saw in the other video i do have the shark tooth prime bluetooth set in there which i like the low profileness of this as you can see very tiny you can see the microphone sticking out right there it actually has a spot in the back for a battery pack back here which is great because you don't have to worry about where you're going to fit you know all this stuff it kind of like spreads it out over the whole helmet which i think is awesome but it doesn't work amazing it's only like one-to-one -one communication it sounds very cheap it has a very cheap voice that you know comes on and everything like that it's just it's kind of just like okay but the Bluetooth set was only a hundred dollars, I think, and the helmet itself I got on sale for two thirty, down from like two seventy, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure, but for that, it's a good helmet. You know, it'll work. It's whatever. This one I really like. I got it more for the design because how cool is that? It's got that old school World War II pinup girl on the side, which I think is amazing. But it fits kind of weird. I do like it. I do wear it. You know, it has this drop down visor in the front, which is kind of cool, but it's it's whatever all right so in terms of what i wear for my regular riding gear i usually wear this vest it is a denim heavyweight vest from harley davidson where is it there right there i got this as a set it was going to be this vest and it has a waterproof windproof hoodie that you wear underneath it. I don't really like wearing the hoodie too much because it is very hot. It is just kind of hard to sit in if you're gonna be sitting for a while, like if you're going slow or you're not moving through traffic too fast. But it is really good for water because I have gotten caught in the rain in that hoodie and there is no water that comes through at all. Second thing, you know, I just wear regular jeans. Uh, this kind of shirt is usually what I wear to work, which I wore every day before I went to that job. Anyway, I typically do wear like this, this kind of stuff. I don't really have any sort of like high vis stuff, anything like that. That This is just fine for kind of my everyday kind of stuff. The biggest thing that I will say that I do wear every single day, which I would even if I didn't ride motorcycles, but I do and I think it is beneficial is boots. This is one pair of cowboy boots that I own that I wear kind of every day. These are full leather. I always wear full leather boots, whether it is cow or shark. I have some snakeskin ones. I have some lizard ones. I mean, any kind of, you know, full leather. I don't wear fake boots because I don't want to get a toe drug on the ground and end up with some shit happening. I do have quite a few different pairs of boots. Some harness style boots that I really like. Uh, like I said, I have the leather ones, the lizard, I have the snakeskin, all that kind of stuff. And I think that those are really important. They offer a really good grip on the asphalt and on concrete. Sometimes you do have to ride on concrete out here. So it gives me a really solid grip. And also they completely cover everything. They're very tough, very durable, waterproof for the most part. Really don't have to worry too much about any of that kind of stuff. That's, um, I think kind of pretty much it. I don't normally wear gloves. I know that some people are like, you have to wear gloves. I'm not a big glove person. I do have some gloves. I have three pairs of gloves, one pair from Oakley that I've had forever. They were motocross gloves. I have a pair of Biltwell work gloves. I have a pair of 
fast pass, I think they're called, or something like that. I don't know, they're actual motorcycle gloves, you know, skid plates on the palms, they have the skid plates on the knuckles, stuff like that. I'm just, when I'm going at speeds, here, which is 25 miles an hour-ish. I just don't really feel like it's necessary. My grips, you know, they are metal. They will kind of slip with the gloves a little bit. So I'm just, I'm not a big glove person. So yeah. Other than that, I think that's kind of it. I ride pretty much, like I said, every day. This is an everyday type thing. I live about nine miles away from where I work, so I'm driving nine miles, going 25-ish miles an hour. This is just kind of like an everyday thing. If I get caught in the rain, it sucks, but I don't really worry about it too much because going to work, which is close, and I keep like extra clothes there, or I'm coming home, and I wouldn't have to worry about that anyway. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully this goes off a little bit more than my last video. I'm sure it won't, but whatever. <laughs> I really do enjoy doing this kind of stuff and I'm not the most amazing editor or anything like that, but I am learning. I am starting to look at different sort of camera setups. I possibly have something coming soon that will allow me to do a front and rear camera and then also audio over that. It'd be great. Not everything is going to be just, you know, me riding to work. I want to do some stuff about going around, you know, going around uh, the tri-state area to Rhode Island. We love Rhode Island. It's an amazing place. It's just super, super pretty out there. It was just added to the quarantine area, but as long as you're just riding through, it's not that big of a deal. Thank you very much. Uh, if you would please give this video, you know, some sort of either comments or like or anything like that, it would be greatly appreciated because any feedback is good feedback, uh, especially on YouTube. If it's good or bad or anything like that, at least there's some sort of forward progression of, you know, what I need to do in order to make this channel possibly more successful in order to, you know, make a cool, fun, vlogging channel that we can all kind of be a part of and you know i can take suggestions i can go over other reviews or anything like that we can talk about points you know like give me a talking point and i will talk about it and if you want to hear me ramble for 30 minutes or so about some thing i will do that because we're all just having fun here and i'll be doing that on a motorcycle you know riding up down, left, right, all over the place. I will look at doing a complete overview of my bike, possibly of Parker's bike, if she wants to do that. She also might be, you know, interested in starting her own channel, doing her own vlogging, something like that, which I think would be great, especially if we could get some sort of headset connection that will record. And so you can hear our conversations about whatever. All right, so uh, with that, I will go ahead and say, Bye-bye.